Welcome to Bratislava. Good morning, friends, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're coming to you from Bratislava, Slovakia. <laughs> Country number 14. We actually uh, arrived yesterday and we got a chance to kind of check out the town a little bit. And it's very quirky and charming and really clean. Um, so yeah, today we're going to be exploring the city and we're going to show you all the top sites. All right, let's go check it out. All right, so behind me up here at the old town hall, it's a cannonball from when Napoleon was trying to invade the city. They left it there as kind of like a mem uh, memorial to how they defended the city against Napoleon Bonaparte. The more you know. <laughs> Interesting fact, he's actually lost his head twice due to people driving erratically, so they've actually put a sign up behind him that says man at work. Um, and since they put the sign up, nobody's <laughs> run over him and he hasn't lost his head. So, first impressions of Bratislava. Um, the city's incredibly clean, like there's no garbage, trash, cigarette butts on the ground, nothing. Um, we've seen so many tour groups and they all seem to be like in the 50 plus range. Um, but like literally, I think this morning I counted like 12 different tour groups. Uh, a lot of also a lot of uh, street musicians. Yeah. So there's always live music going on. Mm -hmm. Throw a couple euro in there. We saw uh, like a Michael Jackson impersonator yesterday. <laughs> yeah, just dancing on the corner. Yeah, it was really cool. Damn. Also, everybody eats ice cream at all hours of the day. Like, it's like 10:30 in the morning and people are already eating ice cream cones, and I love it. <laughs> Now we are headed to the Blue Church, which looks, oh my God, it's cool, huh? Yeah. So first impressions of this church, it definitely reminds me something like out of Candyland or like a fairy tale. I don't know, I've never seen a church like this before, have you? No. Yeah. No blue churches in my life. <laughs> and also it's still a practicing church, so it's only open during services, so twice a day and then uh, a few times on Sunday. So you can go in for free when it's open, but you gotta be quiet and be respectful. Be respectful. And he says blue inside too? Yeah, it's supposed to be like powder baby blue inside as well, like the pews and everything. Mm. So maybe we'll catch it at a time that it's open. Yeah. just stopped here at Old Slavic Pub to try some traditional Slovakian food and we ordered their homemade beer and it is fantastic. I'm pleasantly surprised at how tasty this is. So the first dish we've ordered is this traditional Slavic soup. It's got potatoes, sausage, uh, lots of onions, uh, fresh sour cream. It looks really, really tasty. It looks spicy. Let's try it. Ooh. It's like sour. Almost, that must be cabbage, not onions. Wow, look at this big chunks of sausage and potatoes. Wow, this is interesting. So if you watched our video when we were in Budapest, I tried meat for the first time in like four years. And I just had a piece of the sausage that's in this soup and all you vegetarians out there are gonna hate me, but 
I've been missing it. It's like the best sausage I've ever had. It's so tasty. Food. I can't even believe how much food we just ordered. Oh my god. It looks so tasty. So we've got the sampler for two. We got dumplings with sheep cheese and bacon. Pierogies with bacon, sour cream, looks like fresh dill on there. And then we got some more dumplings with cabbage. And cheese. And bacon. And bacon. Bacon on everything. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna try the dumplings with sheep cheese first. Ooh. So, oh my god. When we think of dumplings like from the US, we actually think of more like what these pierogies would look like. Um, but these are almost like little gnocchis, like little pastas. And this sauce is kind of like similar to like a alfredo kind of creamy sauce but it's got more of that like sour cream kind of flavor to it it's really good let's try cabbage Ooh. sour mm -hmm. like sour party tasting but still really really good and let's dig into this pierogi oh my god okay so you didn't sleep well last night Pretty good. I think these are boiled, um, so they're like really, really soft. It's tasty. I definitely think the the first one is like the best one on the plate. All right, friends, it is the next day. We took the rest of yesterday to plan out the next couple of weeks and book some trains and buses. But we are back exploring Bratislava, and now we are at? St. Martin's Cathedral. Yeah. So this was the coronation cathedral for the Kingdom of Hungary for a couple hundred years. There was 11 kings and eight queens coronated here. So coronated means crown. Yeah. So it's also interesting, they, apparently there's, this church was built on top of a cemetery and there's supposed to be three different catacombs, one of which was open to the public. So we're gonna see if we can find that and uh, check it out. I've never been in the catacombs, have you? No. Oh, it looks, sounds freaky, but if you guys have ever been to any catacombs, drop a comment in the comments below because we'd love to hear where you've been and what your experience was. You ready to go inside? Yeah, let's go check it out. So what did you think? Uh, it was definitely worth the uh, four hours uh, each to go into the catacombs. Yeah. And then you get to go up into the choir area, the chorus. On the second story. So you got to see the stained same, same glass like straight on, so pretty cool. Yeah, it's free to enter the church, but like you were saying, definitely recommend paying the four, it was like 420 euro per person. Um, it was creepy down there, huh? Yeah. <laughs> they had graves from like, what, the 1800s and yeah. And then also uh, you get access to the treasury. Can't take photos in there, but it's got the chalices and 
the kind of like scepters and all kinds of really cool stuff. It was really interesting. Yeah, it all dates back to like the mid 1400s and later. So definitely something to check out when you're here. All right, friends, we have finally made it to Bratislava Castle after quite the hike up. <laughs> and the hottest part of the day. Yeah, we always do that. I don't know why. Um, but it's free to enter um, to explore like the castle grounds. Uh, you can pay to go inside, but from what we read, it was like people said it wasn't really worth it. Not yeah, and the grounds are more of the thing. Yeah, right now we're currently sitting in the gardens and it's beautiful. It reminds me of something out of like Alice in Wonderland. Like, it's so pretty. Yeah, or French gardens or something like that. Yeah, French gardens. That's the end of my story. All right. That's all I got. This may be such a cool place to get married. When are the nuptials? Probably when we hit 10,000 subscribers. <laughs> According to Lemon, Austria is just right over yonder. I think where those turbines are. Okay, so another thing we noticed is that all of these, like, I guess, statues, I don't know what you want to call them, none of them have heads. They're just like a stick, a pole, I don't know, and then a hat on top. It's very strange. If anybody watching knows why that is, please comment down below. So we're gonna head over to that UFO looking thing behind us. <laughs> we're on uh, most SNP. It's the uh, Slova Slovakia National Uprising Bridge. Something like that, Sounds or right. the new bridge. <laughs> so uh, we'll go check it out, see what that rooftop's about. So that's a view from the UFO tower behind us. <laughs> it's as close as we're going to get. It's like 10 euro each to go up. Yeah, just to go up. And then we really wanted to take you guys up to show you the view. And we also wanted to get some cocktails while we were up there. But the drink prices were like 12 US per drink. So it would have cost us $50 to go up and have a drink. And it's just not in our budget because especially if you're new here, we're not on vacation. We are long-term traveling so we kind of have to stick to a budget and we also have another spot to take yeah yes it's got the view of the bridge yes and a lot cheaper drinks yes so we'll be there in three two one <laughs> so we don't actually have any views to share with you guys because the bar we were going to take you to is closed today unfortunately but it had great views of the ufo tower so we found a bar right around the corner and now we're going to drinks So we've seen this at a few different restaurants. I'm assuming that it's like a local Slovakian dish. Uh, it looks very thick and creamy. Let's give it a try. It's hot. Whoa. This is like very, very creamy. It's very delicious, don't get me wrong. It's a, just a very rich, like really rich and creamy soup. Definitely like good serving in a bread bowl so you can dip in it. They gave us like cheese and butter too on the side. So I have to retract my previous statement, like my initial reaction to this soup. The more I eat of this, the more I want. It is so tasty and so rich and delicious. And especially with this bread to dip it in, it's like fondue. It's so good. I'm trying every single one. All right, so we have one last treat for you guys that we almost forgot about. And we stopped here at Pressburg Bagels, which has been open for over 130 years to try, I guess, a Slovakian bagel. Uh, this one is traditionally made with poppy seed. We also got another one made with walnut. And they were a little more expensive. They were three euro each, but they looked delicious, like a uh, glazy. <laughs> Look at that. Okay. Mm. It 
like sweet. Definitely not like a normal bagel. <laughs> Um, it's good. It's like doughy in the middle, almost like kind of like a thick, dense cake. And this must be like probably seen in honey, maybe. I don't know. It's pretty tasty. Second one's a uh, walnut. So break it open. Ooh. Yeah, so they're a little pricey, but they're pretty packed with everything. And it's all fresh ingredients. So. Walnuts gives like almost like a coffee cake type flavor to it. The sweetness, it's nice and buttery on the outside, or some kind of glaze that's nice and buttery filling. All right, friends, that effectively ends our time here in Bratislava. We hope you enjoyed all the sights and all the delicious food. And what are we doing next? We are gonna go get rid of our bags from the hostel and then take a six hour bus up to Krakow, Poland. Yes, country number 15. So we'll see you there. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you enjoyed it, consider subscribing. And we'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Cheers.